So I've swapped the tire on my Emotion V11 after 2,500 kilometers and I've done already 500 kilometers on the Emotion V11 with the knobby tire. What is my thoughts and what is the trade-offs and how difficult it is to just swap this tire? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today is the first episode of three or four episodes that I'm going to do about the Emotion V11. And you can say this wheel came out last year, yes you are right, but it continued to be my favorite wheel. And that is a big, big reason for it. I definitely love everything that you can take out of the box of this one. But today we are going just to talk a little bit more about the tire and what is the trade-offs and the things that you are going to lose if you decide to go for this one, but also what is the benefit. So when we talk about the tire, we are talking about an, a CST tire. I have already said many, many times that I'm a big, big fan of this brand and this tire fits perfectly fine on this wheel. I've done a big road trip with my wife in Scotland with this tire and I could go over everything that I wanted. I ride in, in rain, I, I ride on the top of the mountains, I've done everything and it was simply an amazing, an amazing fit. When you try to basically try to put this tire, I never had the right tools to remove it and to put it, but I would definitely recommend you to buy the tools to remove the tire because this rubber is really, really thick and you will struggle to take it out with not the proper tools. And what is going to happen is you are going to damage your rim. So definitely buy the ones that I'm just showing to you guys because they work perfectly fine you can buy just two or three but definitely buy the three otherwise you will continue to struggle because this rubber is really really thick putting this tire was <laughs> i have to say a bit a nightmare because just to reach the tire is one of the trade-offs of the emotion v11 is is really really well built but in the same time is really really complicated but we are here to really talk about the tire and what is the experience that you take out another thing really important just to say is the stand if you, this wheel is turned on i will definitely not recommend to use the stand because the stand can get stuck on the tire and it is not going to be a nice experience if it's turned off no problem at all but if it's turned on don't do it i wanted to make this wheel more a wheel that i can use every single day but using it during the winter when it's snowing when it's really really poor weather outside and to just go around with my wife do big big road trips like we've done in scotland i managed to do basically 60 kilometers with this tire so that is another thing that is important to talk when we talk about range don't expect to have an amazing range with this tire around 30 kilometers per hour i managed to do 60 kilometers but i was in scotland i was going up the mountains and stuff so just to make you aware 60 kilometers with my 74 75 kilos plus gear so around 80 kilograms in other words i basically lost 10 kilometers changing for this tire so if you want range this is definitely not the tire that you want but when i installed and i start riding i have to say to you guys that that is a problem as us humans we are never happy and um, when i put this tire i was really disappointed what i was able to do so when when i just got the emotion v11 i really liked the handle of this wheel everything that i was able to do was simply perfect besides the fact that it was not giving me that extra grip when it's snowing or when it's raining and it's really poorly or if i want to go on top of the grass and the grass is is wet it's not going to give the the same obviously the same grip that you are going to have with a knobby tire on the emotion v11 after a while that i start riding i like it more and more and more and now when i go to another wheel it's, it's just weird so this wheel i love the sound that it do on the floor Is really good on tarmac like this one is really good on off-road even with small stones i'm never concerned that i'm going to have a, a flat tire but besides that i'm going to do another video about how is the experience when you put slim inside the tire if it's going to be more more bouncy or not but one thing also that you have to know is when you decide to put a knobby tire on your emotion v11 all the configuration that you have for the suspension, they have to change, okay? When I put the same settings that I had before, I was with my pedals really far away from the floor. So when it was to start, I never felt comfortable. I needed to change all the configurations. So the suspension on the top 
is basically 70 and on the bottom I put 90 so remember 74 75 kilos and in that way when I'm on top of the wheel the wheel is much much closer to to the um, to the top of the, the lamp, okay? So just to point it out that it was impossible to ride in the configurations that Emotion recommended us to ride the Emotion V11. So 70 on the top, that is going to reduce your bouncy of your wheel and 90 on the bottom. And for my weight, it was simply, simply perfect. When we talk about the look, I think the, the wheel looks much, much better. And um, overall, it was the thing that was missing on this wheel, in my opinion, it was to have an off-road tire. If you really like to curve and stuff like that, and you want a more agile wheel, don't put this tire, because if you are going to put the knobby tire, you are going to lose part of it. But basically, this is my thoughts about the Emotion V11 with a knobby tire. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. My name is Marco, this is Pack. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one.